Hey, you all, Carpet Bagger here, coming to you live from the south. More specifically, Lake Wales, Florida. I'm doing kind of a spontaneous adventure here. I was uh, on my phone and uh, Facebook, I got a notification that here at this shop called Glitter Hippo, they were having a grand opening and that they had a brand new Moldomatic installed. So I wanted to head out here and uh, check out, see if they had the Moldomatic. So please, Follow me. Okay, so this is Glitter Hippo here. Yeah, they sell a wide variety of glitter here. This is holographic micro glitter, chunky hollow glitter, holographic sprinkle. I didn't know there were so many different types and styles. Color shift, chunky mix, metallic pastel, chunky mix will definitely come here for all my glitter needs. Okay, so it's a very unique store here. They actually sell uh, thermal coloring, so different paints and things that change with temperature. Okay, so we got the hippo here and, oh wow, is that just a normal flashlight? Or? It's a UV light. UV light, and it actually darkens, the hippo turns it purple. That's crazy. Weird. Put it in the sun. Oh, you can just put it in the sun and it'll it'll turn purple. Same thing. Oh, that's wild. Oh yeah, look at the other side there. There we go. Wow. You can see the glitter hippos there. And there's a big old glitter hippo, and uh, there it is, the Moldomatic, the glitter hippo, Moldomatic. You can see it there. Let's uh. Let's fire it up. Oh. There it goes. There it is. The hippo. Let's try our hand at this uh, claw machine. It is full of glitter hippos and packets of glitter. All right, let's uh, see if we can move that claw. I don't know. Let's just uh, just go for a grab there. Oh, empty-handed. All right, I got two more, or three more tries. Maybe we'll just try to grab some of these hippos that are right on the cusp here. Oh, dang it, that blue one moved. I don't know, how heavy are these hippos here? Maybe we can knock that blue one over the edge. Oh, that yellow one is just hanging there halfway on. I'm gonna try to, try to get him. All right, I got one more, uh, one more quarter. This claw machine is singing an in interesting song, but uh, let's see, we're gonna aim again for that yellow one, see if we can tip it over. Oh, I'm a failure. All right, so supposedly this mold will change to dark purple in the sun. It is have the special thermal um, paint in the plastic. So let's take it out into the Florida sun and see if it changes colors. Oh, you can see it change as soon as I come out here. You get it's almost like almost like you're giving it a suntan. That is cool. That is a very unique moldomatic set. The word glitter hippo on it. Oh, we gotta get its bottom. Let's get its bottom <laughs> nice and. Uh, Oh, that's really cool. Don't leave it out in the sun too much or it might melt. Oh, that's interesting. When you take it out of the sun, it immediately starts going back white. So let's cover it up with my hand. And then there, and then you put it in the sun. And it starts turning purple again. Super cool. So we have successfully obtained a glitter hippo. Now, we have uh, some other plans for the day. Um, some plans for this evening. 
but I wanted to make a little pit stop first. Stopped off in Lakeland, Florida. So here, over here, right next to the Chuck E. Cheese, we have the Lakeland Antique Mall. And I got a tip that uh, Lakeland Antique Mall often has a lot of uh, items from the theme parks in the Orlando area. So I figured we'd stop by and see what they had. All right, heading into the mall, we do have this giant moose head. That's, <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Okay, here's some Disney stuff. We have some animation cells. It's an actual animation cell from Winnie the Pooh. There's Tigger down there. Here's a directional sign from Disney Studios. And then we have a Winnie the Pooh refrigerator. Looks like he's got some frozen carrots, of course, honey, and uh, honey chips. You sure like that honey, don't you, Pooh? The stove here as well. See the smiling salt and pepper shaker. We have this massive collection of Disney snow globes. Rosebud! Sit here and just shake these all day. Oh, look at that glitter. Look at that glitter around Cinderella's castle. Oh, a little old school Mickey there. Ooh, I like this. This is a, this is actually a really heavy. I like, okay, I don't even really feel safe shaking that. It's so heavy, but super cool snow globe. In the back of the antique mall, we have the Vault Collectibles Disney and Universal Studio Props for sale. It's a whole big section here. Oh, look at this. This is a Halloween Horror Nights prop. I remember this. This is when they had the uh, Scare Zone. It was themed like the arcade. That is pretty cool there. Yeah, just a lot of little things here. They have the Men in Black display display cube. It says this is on in the gift shop there. Of course, the best ride at Universal. <laughs> Fast and Furious Supercharged. Who wouldn't want this on there? Mantle. For here we have trash cans from the Polynesian Resort. Some uh, various skeletons used for uh, props at Universal. These were used at a Mardi Gras display. All this furniture is from Disney Resorts. There's a footrest from the Contemporary Resort. What's this? Okay, yeah, these are all from the Contemporary. Now at the Universal Prop Store, when I visited there the other day, they had a lot of these um, scarecrows for sale, but they have a, quite a few here as well. This is the Transformer Scarecrow and this big serpent. I actually remember seeing this at Universal, this serpent lady. Then we got uh, this old mask here and uh, we got old Frankenstein and Michael Jackson. It says this was used in the Halloween Horror Nights radio station. Oh, this would be a great thing to remember. To remember the time when we all had to wear face masks. Actually, I'm ready to forget. Different lamps from different uh, Disney resorts. There's a Grand Floridian lamp. And this is a lamp for the Polynesian. Pretty cool little tiki lamp there. Here we have some very old Disney stuffed animals. The old school Mickey and Donald there. Some different uh, Disney figures used in the Disney stores. There's the there's the racist crow from from Dumbo up there. Oh boy, Mickey paper mache head right there. That Donald there with a the net. Yeah, all these signs here, those different signage for different events. Incredible evening at Disneyland event check-in. Look over here, we have an animatronic Donald Duck that would have been used in the parks. Here's some sort of Christmas tree monster. It says that this was used at the New York City uh, Disney store as a uh, Christmas decoration. There's some Disney costumes that would be worn in parades. There's a Disney uh, Disneyland mechanics coat. There's a giant flag here for the Disneyland Hotel in California. There's a big prop flower there. There's a postcard of when they had the infamous uh, cake, cake, birthday cake castle overlay. I don't think people really cared much for that. I guess this was part of it, although I do not see it on 
the postcard. Here are framed antique tickets. You have gonna have a framed Disney ticket on your wall. A lot of different booths here by different sellers and definitely has a strong Disney theme. See a lot of Disney characters in uh, in the different booths. Uh, I remember Mickey Mouse phones were huge when I was a kid. Have some pretty cool blow molds up here. Got some uh, the biblical Christmas characters, as well as uh, the Santa style Christmas characters. I think this here is a single tree from the Ewoks playset. The old uh, Star Wars. I actually had the Ewok uh, village when I was a kid. I don't know what happened to it. Some wonderful coffee cups there. When you like to drink your coffee out of that every morning. Ooh, I do like this delicious bass. Did anyone grow up playing Trump the game? Does anyone else remember the controversy around this Tarzan toy? I remember it was in the news. People objected to the Tarzan toy and what it did. Does anyone remember? Oh, we do have some skeletons and insects there. You can see the snake bones. We have this Universal Monsters Wolfman. And then these uh, Three Stooges figures. It looks like Moe has fallen down. Let it snow. Oh no. Who invited him here? <laughs> it's the Disney characters. You see naked Pinocchio there. And a uh, Sleeping Beauty action figure. Oh, look at this. They have a color wheel. This is you. This rotates and shines colors onto an aluminum Christmas tree like that and lights it up. Some uh, taxidermy up here. You got a goose and a badger. This badger is $300. I only paid like 30 for my badger. Here we have an old Happy Meal display that have McDonald's Happy Meal toys that you'd see like in the lobby of the McDonald's. Vader here says, I work. Press the red and green button. Your destiny lies with If you only feel the power of the dark side. Ooh, there's a flesh eating piranha from Venezuela. Over here, we have a uh, carved football jack o' lantern. Great for uh, playing football during the Halloween season. Now, I'm always afraid to buy secondhand puzzles because you figure you're going to get to the very end until you realize that you're missing a piece. There's Richard Nixon right there. We have a old Native American toy. Ultra creepy mechanical clown vintage store display working condition. Hmm. Oh, he's not really that creepy, is he? This is a vintage United Airlines Hawaiian countertop advertisement. Oh. A fiberglass skunk here. It's actually got a good price on it. I just don't think I can cram it in the back of my car with all my luggage. <laughs> here is a uh, Ronald McDonald head, a uh, Donald Duck head, and then some sort of weird horse up here. So a big pile of vintage cameras there. But, uh oh, watch out! There's a gorilla staring at us. Pirates and deer over here. Says these pirates are Disney props. Uh, look at I look at his face. That is kind of a spooky pirate. It's a Ric Flair action figure. I like that he has two heads, one normal head and one wooing head. Woo! Oh wow! Here is one of the uh, men from Kiss. Here's some sort of animatronic fiddling mouse. So Lakeland Antique Mall, pretty amazing. They uh, all the different stuff they have from the theme parks here in uh, Central Florida. Definitely will come back here someday, but right now I've got somewhere to be. All right, we have landed here in Plant City, Florida. We are here at Sir Henry's Haunted Trail. This is a highly rated uh, haunt here in Central Florida. And I've been invited out to. Unfortunately, I've not been able to make it out until tonight. I've tried to get out here in the past, but 
Um, there's been some complications, but finally made it. They're having their Valentine's haunt, Love's Revenge, that we will be checking out tonight. Here we have the 12 foot Home Depot skeleton, and look how dapper he is this evening. Fred with no head. Fred with no head? Yeah. What happened? I blew it off with you, some dynamite. You blew his head off? Yeah, I just stick the dynamite and it went off. Oh, there's the dynamite right there. Yeah, it went well, off. Well, be careful, don't blow my head off. No, it's still alive. Oh. <laughs> Let's get in there, Fred. <laughs> hey, it's Cupid. How you doing? I'm doing good. Why did they have you locked out there? I, I guess it's not ready yet, or? I think you should come in. You think you can get me in? I think you need some skin and I can stab you with my arrow. Oh, is that skin? Oh, of course. It's just, you're just carrying around a chunk of skin that looks like a Why fruit roll-up? Good. Oh, don't don't eat the skin. Oh. Why not? I don't know. Why? What, 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 what? It's good, though. It's good? That's good skin? Yes. I don't know. They always told me to take the skin off, off the chicken before you ate it, but I always like... I, I like eating the chicken skin. It looks like human skin. I don't know about... Yeah, for sure. Where'd you get that from? I got it the other day. I got it the other day from somebody. They were really nice and they offered it to me. Oh, well that was very yeah, sweet. Yeah, it was my Valentine's gift. The Valentine's gift with just a chunk of skin? Okay, that's, that's excellent. Oh, the gates, are they open? Can we come in? Can we come in? Hey, how are you? Oh, those are really big scissors. Oh, like your scissors, very nice. All right, so here we are within the gates of Sir Henry's. Oh, giant teddy bear. What are you doing, Mr. Teddy Bear? Oh, he's got a machete. What does a teddy bear need a machete for? Like, oh, hey, 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 watch it, watch it. Hey, come on, Teddy. Jeez, what a grumpy old bear. <laughs> hey. Here in front of the snow cone booth, we have a statue of Sir Henry. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day! Hey, same to you. All right, what'd you what'd you drink in there? A little uh, Walmart's best. Oh, okay. Nothing, Walmart's nothing best. Good for her. <laughs> it's <laughs> nice. Oh, you put poison in it. That's gonna kill somebody. You gotta be you gotta be careful with that. He's not dead yet, though. <laughs> She's there. Oh, wait a minute, you poisoned each other. Oh, this, this isn't going to end well. Yeah, a glass. Oh, jeez. Oh, it was unnecessary. Yeah, right there. So we got a little box of chocolates. Yes, right chocolates. Here. Yes. Oh, it's got a bunch of slimy worms in Yummy, there. huh? Nice. Characters of the book. Oh, okay, so you got the Sir Henry's Haunted Tales book. And you're, you're in that book? Oh, you got a star starring role in the book. That's quite nice. You can see this tree in the center. We have some spooky skeletons there celebrating uh, Valentine's Day. This is the Teddy Bear Attack laser tag. It's in this building shaped like a giant teddy bear. The skin of a teddy bear on this building. All right, so they said that um, it's more fun to play laser tag when there's other people in there. <laughs> so laser tag is not that fun of a game to play by yourself. So maybe we'll check back later tonight. So we're gonna head into a haunt here. We have Blood Wedding in this big spooky mansion. Now I was told that here at Sir Henry's, I'm um, asked that I only film in selfie mode. So you will be able to uh, see my fear, my reactions in my face and hopefully I don't hurt my jaw screaming and ripping out uh, my newly healed jaw. All right, big, spooky, old house here. Statues here outside of the door. So I'll be using a little bit of assistance from my phone here in order to illuminate my face. You can get all the terror that there is to be seen within my facial structure. I'm, I'm not scared. I don't believe that. No, I don't, I'm not scared of nothing. The dark rides really explain it all. <laughs> Is it scary in here? In, inside Blood Wedding? I mean, it's in the name. There's... What, Wedding? It's, what's... <laughs> I mean, the first part. The blood! Okay. 
That's a little scary. A little bit. Just ask my husband, so he'll answer the question. <laughs> you got blood coming out of your eyes. That happened at your wedding? I mean, I, you know, you cry a little bit, and then, you know, you oh, have you rides. You have bridesmaids that are like, oh, you don't need him, and then you just kind of break the glass, take the axe, and run. All right, so you murder? You murdered your husband? Is the police asking, or is it you? No, I'm, I'm not a cop, I swear. Okay, then yes, I did. Okay, cool. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Oh, all of them? <laughs> this conversation's over. You heard nothing. <laughs> Here we go. In to blood wedding. So, okay. Looking around for potential spookiness. The light is kind of blinding me in a way. No! I can't believe what that. Psycho what a complete psycho. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Wrong way. Oh, Sarah, I'm sorry. Thank God, please, please tell me you see my wife. Oh, You're no, looking for your wife? No. Oh my gosh. Oh, is that the wife right there? You need to hide. Oh! She's gonna find us. She's gonna find us. Go hide who, now. Who, 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 who are we hiding from? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Found you! Oh, gee, there she is! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. See you soon! Oh! Oh! So much yelling! Oh! Oh! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, okay, thank gosh. I need to calm down. Oh! Thank oh, gosh. Okay. Where are we going? What's happening? Oh, hello. Oh! The show. What show? I want his uh, head! His head? My head? Okay, she's killing someone back there. Don't let him get you! Oh, jeez! Oh! Where am I going? Okay. Oh, oh this is kind of spooky in here. Murders. Oh, look at this bed, this murder. There's like a per murder person on this bed behind me. Oh, 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 look at that. That's super spooky. Hello, darling. Have you seen Maxwell anywhere? Maxwell, no. Maxwell! Oh, who's Maxwell? Oh, my gosh. Oh, are we having a... My goodness! Oh Lord! <sighs> so this is so Garth is right over there. He's kind of crazy. Um, don't really want to go near him. Um, so he found his best friend with his wife. Um, so uh, he blew them up, basically. Okay. That's why this place is under construction and. My, his face is all black because he kind of got caught in the explosion as well. Um, so yeah, that's basically the backstory of his house and this trail. Yep. So normally we would, we would have, you know, couples go or like okay. friends, you know, but you can go in that way. All right, I'll go in. And you can tell her I'll go in the go, over there. go in the guy's direction. I don't have a date for uh, tonight, but uh, we'll head in anyway. Yeah, Garf's place. I mean, on the wall. Yeah. Please give your best convincing screen that you can. Oh, okay. And then when 
run to the window and beg for an apology. Like, I'm so sorry. Okay, okay. So when you bang, I scream, and then run to the window and apologize. Yes. Okay, I think I got it. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for what I've done. You should be sorry. <laughs> How sorry are you? I'm so sorry. I can't believe what I've done. We'll never do it again. I won't, I promise. Because I'll have to make you like friends. You're going to cut my head off like your friend? With no head. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm so sorry. Okay. And, uh, Don't be the man you're supposed to be. I will be the man I'm supposed to be. Oh, jeez. Okay. So new. I'm a new and improved man. Yes. Thank you so much, you're Garf. Welcome. <laughs> See you later. See you later, Garb. All right, I noticed there's some other people entering the uh, laser tag. Maybe I'll follow them in and play along. Oh, hello! Hey, look, touch my doll. Touch your doll? Touch it, touch it. Touch, it. Come on, touch, 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 touch the doll. Touch the doll! Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh! That was... So, where am I, why am I staying here? Ah! Jeez, you didn't, you're going to throw things at me. Oh, okay. Oh, anyways, I think we were doing, yes, we were doing the laser tag. Uh, let's see if we can get in there and, uh, and join these people in the laser tag. So, okay. So I just, I, I shoot at these people right here. Okay, so, I, well, you shoot at their guns or do you shoot at their faces? Oh, towards the sensor right there. There's the sensor. Yeah. So that, oh, it's on the tip of their gun, okay. Uh -huh. yeah. So, okay, all right, I think I got it. It's boom time. It's boom time, okay. So, you hide behind these uh, barrels, and then uh, we're gonna we're gonna start shooting these people. Oh, oh I got! <laughs> oh, don't shoot me! Oh, quit shooting at me! Oh, it's boom time! Oh, oh, there we go! Oh, oh, oh what's wrong? Oh, look at this super spooky skeleton driving a tractor while wearing a top hat. Heading into our final haunt of the evening, we have Cry of Death. There's a giant shark on top of the haunt. I'm gonna head in. Oh no, we're gonna need a bigger boat. Also, he has black eyes, like a, like a, like a doll's eyes. All right, getting ready to head inside. They're heading into the porthole pub here. Oh, look at that. Who's that? Oh my gosh. What's going on in there? What am I? What do I beware of? Say beware. He wasn't very specific. No! Jeez. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, unfortunate. Oh, oh! Loud banging. Oh my gosh. Who's that? My ears loudly. Oh, a scuba man! Oh, electricity! Oh, jeez. Oh, okay, okay. Try to find my way. 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We're, this, we're surrounded by both. Hello, Cyrus. Don't scream. Don't don't scream. Okay. Oh, she didn't scream. I'm so relieved. Oh my gosh. Hello there. Have you? Have you seen him? Seen the who? Captain. The captain? No, yes. I don't think so. Listen to this song. Listen to the song. To the bottom of the sea. Oh, the bottom of the you sea. Will go crazy. Listen, like here, listen, me. listen. Don't listen to me. Do not listen to the Don't sirens. Listen. Cover your ears. Okay, cover my ears. Listen, if your ears are not covered, they will take you. Can't you can't cover both of them. You will die. Well, you, down you, guys are, you guys are pretty loud, too. Yeah. The sirens are loud. Oh, my gosh. Oh, so many sirens. The big bloody fish right here. Fisherman behind me. <laughs> Sirens are loud. Oh my gosh. Oh my. This just got really quiet all of a sudden. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. For it, but I don't know promises. Oh, whoo, that was loud. Sir Henry, Sir Henry. Oh, we have Sir Henry himself. How's it going? Good to see you. Good. I have a lot of fun. Thank you for inviting me out here to your your your, your land of horrors. Yes, I'm so glad you got to see it finally. We gotta come back in October. So I will awesome. I'll see you then. Thank you so much. So thank you for joining me today. We, we, we experienced the newest Moldomatic in existence, the Glitter Hippo. We went to the antique mall and I nearly bought a giant fiberglass skunk. And then we had a nice night of scares here at Sir Henry's Haunted Trail. And uh, let me know what you guys thought of the filming here at Sir Henry's. Um, they did ask uh, for selfie style, but they did allow the use of a light to uh, to help, and I thought actually thought. Uh, tell me if you think the footage is good. I think it's. Um, I've had I filmed Selfie Cell in other places where it was almost a little too dark. You couldn't see my face very well, but I thought that lit up things well, and was a fairly nice experience. But let me know how you liked that version of filming a haunt. Leave a comment in the comment section. And thank you for coming along today, as always. Um, been having adventures here in Florida. Um, looking for more adventures tomorrow, and then um, the day after that, I will be headed over to Walt Disney World, where I'll be experiencing Walt Disney World. My daughter and her two friends are coming and joining me. We are going to spend a week on property at Disney, maybe closer to five days on property. Um, so I'll be filming, vlogging my time there at Disney. I know not everyone loves Disney content, but um, but I don't do it too often, so. If, uh, if you don't like it, don't watch. If you do like it, then you can watch. But uh, thank you so much for your support. I will uh, be continually continuing to upload near daily content. Um, if you like this channel, please subscribe. It'll let you know when new videos come out. And if you want to help support this channel further, you can always uh, consider donating to Patreon. Three dollars more will get you a postcard once a month from me to you. Also selling enamel pins in the Etsy shop. I believe we have all pins available right now if you want to head over there. That's in the description. Until next time. This one's in the bag. <laughs>